Well, what a journey it's been. A wild ride through the hidden unknowns of COVID-19. A new twist and turn every week, just to keep us on our toes. 1061 has taught me many things, one of them being just how resilient a teacher must be. We, as educators, really are at the forefront of shaping the ways that future generations think, act and feel. And this pandemic has really highlighted to me the important role that we play in society. At the beginning of the semester, I came to this course with a little true understanding about teaching. My teacher identity was extremely limited, however, I knew I had a passion. In my diary, I had to put on the first page a list of what I thought teaching was. And let me tell you, it's def very different to what I think now. Majority of things I had written included the physical aspects of teaching, such as marking work, preparing lessons, and coaching, and so forth. However, I have come to the realisation through my 1061 studies that it is so much more than the physical. The social and emotional aspects of teaching are where my true passion lies, to inspire and motivate the minds of the upcoming generations to generate a population of positive citizens. Prior to studying the 1061 course, I was not aware of how the personal benefits are so critical in teaching. It taught me that all humans are unique and must be taught accordingly. The 1061 course nudges its students and pre-service teachers to look deeper into the ways in which we can gain more insight into each student's individual lives to heighten the effectiveness of teaching. Creating positive relationships is just as vital as delivering content. We must seek to create relationships with the students, parents and other teachers in the school community if we are truly going to make an impact. I think where my greatest change in 1061 has come from is in the form of understanding that the change that one t teacher can have on a student's life and the feeling and the great feeling that would come from knowing you have made a positive change in another student's life. As I undertook this case study assignment, I looked at a refugee called Jake. And although this case study did not specifically talk about the effects after the time frame that it was set in, I was able to see just how much of an impact one amazing teacher can have on a student's life. I did further research into the butterfly effect, where one small change can make a huge difference in someone's life, and thought to myself, how many small positive changes can I make in a student's life that will ultimately alter the path of their life? This drives me to become the best teacher I can.